Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Dylan. Welcome to Rolling Retro. If you are new to the channel, this is where we do video game collecting and reselling. And today, we are going to be on our way very soon. It's about 30, 40 minutes out, getting a $80 PS2 bundle with this image. Now, I know that looks super blurry and you don't really know what you're getting into. Trust me, we're going to be taking a little bit of a gamble today. So I just kind of wanted to go out and since I had a NES console that basically sold for 80 bucks, we're kind of reinvesting the profit from that console into this like gamble of a PS2 bundle. We'll see what we'll get. So stay tuned. Regardless, roll the intro. I'll catch you guys at the pickup. You already know what's up. About some retro video games, yeah, that's the goal. So you could be buying or selling, man, I ain't telling, but either way, you're listening to Rolling Retro. Oh, how's it going? <laughs> Mind if I just take a peek at them yeah, quick? Cool. Yeah. Appreciate you meeting me. That one guitar there is like brand new. Yeah, I haven't played Guitar Hero in so long, man. It's one of my favorite games growing up. Yeah, I bought it a while back with my buddy. And me and the guys were getting together to play Guitar Hero every once in a while. Yeah, I just wanted to see if a few of them were at least in there. Yeah. Just to, yeah. Oh, this is dope. I, like PS2 is like my all-time favorite console, and then I do uh, yeah. No, it's like a lot of them going straight to the collection because I I do pick up videos on YouTube and I okay. go to my I add to my collection and whatnot. So yeah. Yeah, I won't eat up much more of your time. I just wanted to pop open a few of them. Yeah, I was just packing yeah. up my shit because I'm in the middle of moving. So. Yeah. No, don't. Appreciate you. John, check this. 80 bucks. No, it looks good, man. I'm excited. So, yeah. Yeah, have a good one, man. Yeah. All right, $80 scoop. I'm going to move the guitars. I honestly don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the guitars. But he's got some solid titles in here I want to take a peek at. We'll kind of go through um, everything back at home and kind of show you guys what we got going on. I'm just taking a quick photo, but yeah, we're going to... This actually looks way better than I thought. Some of these are probably going to go straight to the collection, to be honest. Cool. All right, catch you guys back home. Quick little filler for you guys. The GoPro died, so we gotta do the rest of this really quick on the phone, at least just this next pickup. And what I mean by that is we're actually doing another $60 on top of the 80 that I just spent for all the PS2 games. But this time, we're gonna be picking up some original Nintendo cartridges. Some of them are rough, some of the other ones are okay. He wanted 100, I said 60 is where I'm comfortable at. The value on price charting is only about 180 to 200, and that's not fast factoring in some of these games that are really really rough and like just terrible condition yeah i was interested in the games for sure it's just some of the conditions on those ones was like <laughs> well so i bought yeah. some of them there was a stop shop that was going out of uh business a yeah. long time ago okay i just do pick up videos for youtube i was just getting a little clip but yeah, I've honestly, I've never seen anybody engrave a Nintendo cart before. <laughs> well, what it was, so, it's so you couldn't steal them back then. Yeah, you know. kind of unfortunate, because honestly, I was looking to add Mega Man to the collection, but I don't know if I want to keep it all <laughs> yeah, scuffed right. up. Yeah, so. Well, I mean, someone will probably <laughs> buy it to play it, you know? Yeah, it's sell it for cheap or something. I'm going to definitely keep a few of them, though. I do like to collect, but reselling kind of helps offset the <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, collection a little bit, so. No, I appreciate it. These look pretty good. Yeah, I'll get the games for sure, and then I'll put the rest of the my stuff down here, and I'll take a peek at the cards. I don't know nothing about the cards. Because, so. it's like I said, it's always so hard to tell over photos, so I can give you a better 
concept if it's something of interest or not. You know what I mean? So. This is my favorite game. Super Mario? The yeah. Three, the third one. My buddy and I uh, learned the hard way that you can't save on the old Nintendo back in college when we were playing it. And yeah. we wanted to beat the game, so we shut it off and then had to restart the old. <laughs> you, have to play, so, you have to play it all the way through. Yeah, yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. No, the, I haven't done number two, though, and I thought that was in here, so that was kind of a fun one where it was I, I, I think it's in there. Isn't it? I think so. To be no, yeah, it's right there. The cover's oh, okay. Cool. No, these look good. I'll take a look at the cards. Ah! Oh, big yawn. Oh, buddy, he's so tired. We really need to get you off the table. But regardless, we're back home. Uh, it's been a couple days. Actually, some of these things have to get shipped out. I listed them on eBay prior to finishing this video, so. That's a little bit my fault. We're also in the process of redoing the kitchen. That's why everything looks so bright and so different. Everything's kind of getting remodeled. So regardless, I'm gonna flip the camera around, make it pretty quick. We're gonna do a deep dive. Plus, let me show you something really quickly because we are missing some of the items from this lot because they have already sold and we've already made our money back and we were still able to add some awesome games to the collection and I'll kind of show you what is currently left and I believe a lot of it has to go on eBay still so stay tuned. So you won't be seeing the PS2 lot in this pickup because I listed it to Facebook Marketplace for $140. I had an individual offer me $20 more for gas so we made $160 and only spent $80 so far. Before we get into any of the pieces that I'm actually keeping for the collection, these are some of our like honorable mentions or a little bit more of the other titles that have currently came in the video game lot. There is still some decent titles in here regardless, like Destroy All Humans, The Godfather, Thrillville, Quake, there's some pretty good ones, Star Ocean. Nothing too expensive, but just some pretty good solid titles. And we'll start to get into some of the other honorable mentions and then we'll finally kind of top it off with the pieces that are actually going into the collection. And keep in mind, we have already made uh, pretty much all of our money back and doubled with the $160 purchase because the actual system, the PS2 system, and some of the junkier games sold locally on Facebook Marketplace for $160. Keep in mind, you guys should be able to see this earlier in the video. I don't have it open at the moment, so I'm not gonna do it with one hand, but this is also stacked with games too. Now we're gonna be going into the second stack, but before, and as much as you guys can see some of the titles here, before we do a little bit of a deep dive, I just wanna say, these are basically case only. Some of them do have manuals as well. A lot of these were just put into like replacement cases where they printed the actual artwork for the game. But as you can already tell, especially like at the top right here, we do have some heavy hitters like Monster Hunter, Extermination, there's PSA, uh, PSI Ops, sorry, I was gonna say PSA, it's actually PSI. There's good old Street Terminator at the bottom. I believe this one is Rune if you were curious, because the label's a little bit jacked up on that one. But regardless, these are pretty much just gonna get pulled and sold as a loose disc. That's why I kind of have them separated from the other main stack. Now we're gonna use the actual light box and get some better shots of the better titles of this lot, or at least the pieces that are going into the collection so you guys can see what I have kind of cherry picked out for myself on what I would like to add. And before we move on as well, I just wanted to do the other little $60 recap. We picked up a bunch of loose Nintendo cartridges. Some of them are kind of common. Some of them are actually pretty valuable, like Mega Man 2, but unfortunately, it came from a video store where they decided to engrave the cart as like a theft protection. And there's also a little bit of a label on the back talking about that too. So that's a little bit unfortunate. You could tell it also happened with Monopoly 2. We got two copies of Duck Hunt and Mario Bros along with a Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. 2, Bayou Billy, and the two best ones, actually there's three, but I'll get to that in a moment because the other one's going into the collection, is Manic Mansion. It's about a $25 to $30 cart, along with a copy of Pirates. Once again, another $25 to $30. That kind of summarizes the entire $60 purchase that you guys saw earlier with all the Nintendo carts. Now let's finally break down everything that was gonna be going into the collection today. Collection time! <laughs> Alrighty, so. The first one that's going straight into the collection is actually from the Nintendo side. I don't really collect a lot of loose cards or anything like that, but there is just something about a Final Fantasy copy that I think is just a must-have and is gonna have to go straight into the collection. 
Now my absolute favorite console of all time is the PlayStation 2. It is one of my childhood consoles that I grew up putting a lot of hours in. I have never seen this game, didn't realize it was pushing $40 to $50 called Valkyrie Profile 2. Apparently there is also one for the PlayStation 1 that is way, way more valuable around the $400 to $500 range. This one is complete, super minty, no wear and tear. This one is also going straight into the collection today. Last but not least, we have one more after this. We have Mega Man Anniversary Collection. It's a Capcom title, black label for the PS2. This one is a little bit in rough condition, but honestly, for already getting my money back and pretty much adding this to the collection for free, I love the cover artwork. I think Mega Man is a classic. It is kind of a must-have to go into the collection and add to the PS2 little pile that we have going on over at the wall. And last but not least, I know this one isn't anything crazy, it's actually a pretty cheap title, but we do have a very clean copy of Red Faction 2. This one is going in because I don't know why, just for how clean it is, I'm absolutely obsessed with the artwork on the front. Very Soviet Union type, and that's <laughs> not, not making any, uh, you know, bad remarks there. It's just there's something about it on how simple and clean this cover looks. I absolutely love it, so I want to put it on the display wall with all the other games. I think it's going to make a great great addition. Here's four other titles I forgot to throw in the main stack you saw at the beginning. They're actually pretty valuable, so I wanted to include them and also add them to show that these were a part of the $80. None of them are going into the collection. They're just pretty solid titles. That's pretty much going to summarize today's pickup. We spent $80 on the PS2 and then we spent $60 on the Nintendo lot for a total of $140. We have already separately sold the unit for $160, so at this point we have recouped all of our money plus an additional $20 in profit. We're still going to be able to add some awesome titles to the collection, and as you guys saw, we have a stack and a stack and a stack of games to go through, clean up, and resell everything that you saw at least at that point. I do not want to keep or add to the collection. It will be up for sale on my eBay store. The link is down below to kind of help offset the cost of collecting, which we've already done, and make a little bit of money and still add some cool pieces to the collection. But I just want to say, stay tuned. This upcoming week, we are going to have one of the coolest pieces ever getting added to the collection. I've been on the hunt for a lot of these. I've always wanted to get it, and I found it locally for a steal of a deal. And to give you guys a little bit of a hint before we take off and end the video, it's a Wally -E reference. It's video game related, but it's a Wally -E reference. Do you guys know? Let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dylan, Rolling Retro. Make sure to subscribe for weekly video game hunting and flipping videos. I will catch all of you guys in the next one. Stay hunting.